Hi, this is Ike from Ike'sOutdoors.com. We're going to make a series of instructional videos. Uh, today we're going to start with just the basics of how to fletch an arrow. We're going to wrap the arrow, fletch it, and, and get it ready to shoot. Uh, we have here an arrow that you can see is in really bad shape. It's one I've been shooting for a while and uh, got a little close with another arrow last night, so it's it's need of uh, being refletched. Uh, it has a wrap on it. It's This is the way I shoot all my arrows. So we're going to we're going to skin it down, clean it up, and put some new feathers on it. So first thing you're going to need to do is have a uh, is have a nice, good, sharp razor blade, and you're going to want to skin everything off there. Feathers wrap, get rid of everything that's on there, and it's going to look pretty bad for a little bit, but it'll all come off eventually. most important thing about these arrows when you're fletching them is to clean. They have to be clean. Some guys will, will clean them like this and use acetone to clean them after that. And I think that's fine for aluminum arrows, but I don't do that on my carbon arrows. Uh, I think the acetone breaks down the glue that, that holds the carbon fibers together. And I just, it may or may not, that may not be true, but... I don't want to take a chance, so I use 90%, 91% alcohol to clean these after they're done. And there are other tools out there to do this. You know, they make a, a tool to take this stuff off, and it's a lot faster than these. But we want to show you how to do this and how to do it cheaply with tools you already have around your house. And like I said, we're using just 91% alcohol. You can run down to Walmart or any drugstore and buy this. So just get you a rag. Dump some of that alcohol on there and then just start working that off the shaft and that alcohol will will get that glue to, to release and it'll start taking that, some of that off there. To me when you start hearing that whistling sound is when you start when you started getting getting down to it being clean. And you'll you know find you another spot now and start it again to get that shaft good and clean. That's the most important thing whether you're using a new shaft or an old shaft, just make sure it's clean. And if you're using a new shaft, don't think that they're clean right out of the box. People have been touching them, people have been handling them, and you know, they've got their dust sitting in the store and things like that. So you always want to clean your shaft, and you want to do it right before you're ready to fletch. You don't want to do it, you know, the day before or something like that. You know, a little bit of time's fine, but I like to do it right before I'm fletching. So there we go, we got a nice clean shaft. We looked the whole thing over, there's nothing, none of the uh, old wraps left on there or anything like that. So we're ready to rewrap this thing. On top of my toolbox here, I've got just a pad. And it's just a soft pad that you can push down into. A uh, mouse pad, or basically anything soft like that's going to work. We've got just a standard orange wrap here. Just peel that off. And this is the hardest part about wrapping is to get it to come off your fingers. Lay that on your pad there. Get it all nice and straight. You want to lay both edges. You want to keep this as square and straight as possible. This edge of the shaft, you want to keep as straight as possible with this edge of the wrap. The back edge of the wrap, you want to keep as straight as possible with this edge of your back edge of your arrow and your knock. So, get that all lined up and you got it straight. What I first thing I do is press down and then just start to roll it. And just go nice and slow. And roll that thing around. And there you go. So this arrow's ready to put feathers on. So we'll move over here to our jig. And I've got several jigs here. These are Martin. Uh, this red one's a Boeing. These are fairly cheap jigs. The Boeing's about 20 bucks. The Martins are, are 40 or 50. You don't really need a fancy jig if you're not going to be doing a thousand arrows a year. Bits and birds are some of the best on the market and if, if you got the means to buy a Bitsenberg I highly recommend it but if not if you're just wanting to repair arrows and do your own Boeing makes a good one Martins make a good one BPE you know there's several out there Joe Jan they're all pretty good arrows so put your shaft down in there and first thing I do is make sure that this is locked because if it's not locked and it's in that kind of position it's going to mess up where your, your, your uh, feathers lay on the arrow so we've got that locked into position. Now there's several different types of glue that you can use. Um, steel horse, um, joke tough. There's several of these glues like this that are quick sets 
and these are really good strong glues and they're going to set up within just a few minutes. Um, flex tie, and this is what I prefer, it's what I use the most, simply because the steel force and some of these other glues are going to leave a little bit of white residue on your, on your shaft. This is clean, it's neat, it's got a little bit of flexibility to it where the others are brittle, and it's just what I like to use. It takes about 15 minutes to set up, but it's what I like to use, been using it for years. You can also go down to the Dollar General store and buy uh, Super Glue Gel. Works great, cheap, tubes last for, last for not as long as the other stuff. They're going to set up and they're going to get hard, but for a buck, you get two, two tubes and you're going to get plenty of arrows fletched out of it. So, today I'm going to use my fletch type and we're going to be putting on some three inch feathers. The first thing, you got your shaft in there. Got your clamp, you want to determine how far up you want to set your, your feather. The first mark is an inch. That's going to be an inch from your knock. And that's where I like to go. You know, with blazers or with some of these others, you may want to go further or closer back. It's all of your personal preference. So, get that feather in there. Line the back of the feather up with that one inch mark. And you'll see that these feathers, even though they're gateways, they're not cut straight on the back end. So I just ignore all this area here that's that's extra and go where the nice straight edge of edge is where it's the thickest. So we've got that in there. Take your flex tie or the glue that you decide to choose and try not to put too much of it on there. You just want a nice small bead. Too much is not going to help out a whole lot on this stuff. You know, you want enough to, uh, to hold, but you don't want an overabundance. You don't want this running out the backside and getting into your your fletching jig or running all over your arrow. So, position that on your shaft. You'll see the glue beading up. That's why you don't want to go with too much, because you're going to push it out of there. And you don't want that running down here and getting into your turning mechanism on your clamp. And you don't want it to be all over your shaft and be messy. Now I'll hold this uh, feather on here for 10 or 15 seconds just applying real light pressure just to kind of spread the glue. You don't want to squeeze it down and spread that glue out to where it's, it's actually oozing out the sides and you're losing the majority of your glue. So, we've got that first feather done. I've got an arrow already set up here that's got one feather on it. And... Um, I'm going to show you how to put the second feather on because for most people, the second, third, that's going to be the hardest thing to do. Turn that until your clamp goes to your next position. Put your second feather in your clamp and line it up with your inch mark. And here's the thing that a lot of people overlook. You're not going to want to just line it up and put the glue on it and put it on there. Do a dry fit before you put any glue on it. And make sure, because like I said, the back of these isn't always square. These two feathers seem to be pretty good. But make sure that those two back edges line up. Make, your two, make sure your two top edges line up. It's just going to be a nicer looking arrow. It, you know, if you get it off a little bit, it ain't no big deal. It's just cosmetics. And you just want it to be pretty close. So we got that one lined up pretty good. We'll put some glue on this one too. It's a nice small bead on there. And just like the first one, just put that on there. Apply a light pressure, get that glue spread out. And you want to make sure that your feathers land flat on there, because they're not always going to be perfectly flat. So if you see some areas that aren't touching, aren't touching the shaft, like in this one, it appears that the middle's not touching. You may want to apply a little bit more pressure just to get that middle down and hold it long enough for that glue to, to kind of catch and. Um, get tacky enough to hold it down. So that looks pretty good. And in the end this is what your feather should your arrow should look like. This one's been all been uh, had the wrap been glued and everything. And the last thing that I do, take a little bit of flex tight and just put a drop. Right there on the end of that feather. This will help you with the contact. Put a little bit on the back. This will help you with any kind of contact that you're getting on rest, especially the whisker biscuit. Arrow is ready to take out and fling into a target or a deer.